If you want to have a really good microphone setting, then I probably have it for you. So let's go into the video so I can show you. You need to download OBS Studio. I'm using it closer to every day doing my stuff. I can really recommend it and everything is working in there. And of course, I think you can do it in Streamlabs also because OBS is kind of integrated in the software. So perfect. Step number one, it's inside Windows on your desktop. So down here where you have your clock, you have an icon for your audio, right click on it and audio settings. Click on that. Sorry, this is on Swedish, it's not on English. Sorry for that. Scroll down a bit to input and volume. And you see when I'm talking like this moves. This should be on 100%. If you have it on 50 or 70, change it to 100. So guys, if you saw here any difference is actually I have no filters on my microphone right now. So you maybe see the difference already. So let's go into the video directly here. So it's your first time. I'm just going to show you go into settings and I'm going to show myself there and then go into audio. Simple rate should be on 48 kilohertz. Okay. And then you put your yeah desktop and your microphone in there this should work for all microphone guys so just try it out and see what you guys think about it and of course if you like it like it and give a comment down below what you guys think and what kind of microphone you use and stuff like that so appreciate it follow for more and then i cannot do the output yeah you can actually do that so go out to output and then audio the audio bitrate should be on 320 on all tracks change that just just do it okay it's so much easier better sound quality and stuff like that okay so when we're done with this we need to change the microphone and you do that on the three dots on, out under mic slack aux left click right click doesn't matter go to filters i'm going to change that so you guys can see everything so here we have the audio filters and nothing fancy You're just gonna add stuff we need to do this in a certain order so we're gonna start with the noise suppression actually one of the most important ones so change the name if you want to do that it's up to you here we have specs low cpu usage low quality or rn and noise good quality more cpu usage i've tested both and i feel like rn and noise is a better thing but if you have a potato computer maybe try out specs instead so it's up to you try it out the next one i'm not really using it's a noise gate i'm gonna set it up for you guys if you want to have it but it's up to you if you want it it's just i'm gonna explain so on the close threshold it's minus 35 and the open threshold is 33 like that the rest we don't need to touch okay what the noise gate does is actually, we can say like it's an on off button or a door, closed or open. Nothing more fancy than that. It's just the thresholds we opening with. And we're actually gonna remove that. Uh, the, the good thing with this is actually if you have kids in the background, stuff like a talk and stuff like that, uh, you can tweak this so this doesn't sound at all. The problem I feel with it, it's not the smoothness of the sound, it's more like now it's off. Now it's on, off, on. So that's why I don't really like it. But if you want to try it out, check it out. The next one, it's the EQ. If this is a new feature uh, from, I have another videos of these, but this is actually the first time I'm using it. The equalizer, yeah, you're changing the factors of mid, low, high and stuff like that. So what I'm using uh, for this microphone it's plus, it's two decibels on the high. It's minus four on mid. And the low, the base, it's plus two. So it's two. This is extremely personal. So copy my settings if you want to try them out. If you have a darker voice than me, maybe you don't need bass or stuff like that. Tweak this, record yourself and try this out because a bad audio when you stream and stuff like that people are gonna leave so the audio is really important audio is more important than picture so don't overdo this if you're unsure maybe leave it 
be. But record yourself, see what you think, how it sounds. Okay. The next thing is an expander. And what the expander does is mainly if you talk really, really soft and really, really low, the expander helps bump it up a bit. Okay. So the ratio here, it's four. The threshold is minus 35. What I found. It's a good sweet spot. Attack, it's 1 ms. Release, 50 ms. Uh, output gain, nothing there. Uh, and RMS. Okay. The next one is a compressor. And what the compressor does, it helps the audio trip, put it down a bit. So if you're screaming a lot, you're really a lot of sounds. Compressor compresses the audio, but it's helping to push down the audio. Okay. And the threshold uh, ratio here is also four, like that. The threshold is minus twenty-three. And I'm gonna go back to this. Attack six ms, uh, release sixty ms. Nothing here. Decibels. Nothing on this that. So here, I'm going to actually show you. So look at the volume. I'm going to give you guys a tip here. Be you guys can be around yellow. Maybe like maxing, maxing, maxing out on close to red. Don't go into red. Please don't do that. So we, the threshold here, the less minus we go, the less... max it out yeah we I have of course some stuff here so but minus 23 is good for me tweak this out see what you think record yourself and see what you think about the volume and stuff like that okay the last thing here is the limiter the limiter limits the audio it's just a break in a way so I have put this to minus nine Minus nine, minus nine, minus nine is red, so it doesn't go over to red. Okay, that's why I put it to minus nine. This is without any filters in OBS Studio, so no suppression, no gate, nothing like that. This is from the package you get, and this is with all the filters on. I hope it's a big difference for you also, because it was a big difference for me. Of course, I know some audios before and stuff like that, so nothing fans for me, maybe. But if this is your first microphone, especially these kind of microphones, USB microphones, it's going to be 100% much better. And I hope you are satisfied. And if you like the video and it's helped you in any way, like the video, follow for more. And of course, give me a comment down below what kind of microphone you're using. Do you use a Hyper HyperX Podcast also? And what do you think about the setting? Do you need to tweak it and stuff like that? So let me know. And of course, if you want to check out some other videos, we have some here and here maybe. I don't know. So check them all out. And yeah, see you guys in the next video or stream maybe. Just follow along there also. So Madrick out. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you watching all the way. So. See you guys. Rock out. Bye-bye.